All right, folks, here we go again with another beautiful, gorgeous 2010 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. With 125,000 miles and only 175 idle hours. Former probation department vehicle. Once again, former probation department vehicle. The vehicle has been completely serviced, detailed. And yes, folks, the vehicle has been completely, completely painted back to white. Yes, when I first got the car, there was paint peeling all over the place. Um, well, not exactly all over the place, but it was peeling in about maybe, I'm going to say, six panels. It made no sense for me to shoot half of the car. So I went ahead and spent the extra money and painted the whole car. I do have pictures and video when the vehicle was being prepped and painted. Let me backtrack here. The vehicle does have a uh, fresh new window tint, 20% all around. That's medium shade. You can still see right through the vehicle. The vehicle does have uh, one hole in the uh, trunk lid where that actual uh, black antenna is. Um, that's the only hole that the vehicle came with so I decided to leave that alone and uh, put an antenna there for us this is E85 OK flex fuel vehicle folks this vehicle doesn't have not one scratch not one door ding whatsoever she is an immaculate running condition and shape Folks, before I forget, the vehicle does have a, a new set of uh, new rubber. Once again, new tires all around. I have also had the uh, steel wheels reconditioned, repainted back to uh, new condition. So everything does match, okay? Everything does match on this particular unit here. Um, I was already, uh, I did go all out on this car cleaning it up to make sure she had everything. I wanted to give her a specific look and she got what she got. I do have a uh, good new use set of uh, spotlights. When I first got the car, the vehicle was missing one that were not complete. So lucky for me, I did have a, a good set on standby. I put it in and it does have new Unity uh, light bulbs. Also, new original equipment headlamps. The ones that the car came with, they were yellow and oxidated. And you guys know how it works, so yes, you got a new set of headlamps. Let's go inside of the car here and continue our virtual tour. I do have a uh, vinyl leather type rear seat. All seatbelts and buckles are in place. Vinyl flooring in place. Folks, just so you know, I also did have the rear doors, uh, rods and locks reinstalled in the vehicle. When I first got the vehicle in, door locks and rods were not in place. So yes, the doors are fully functional from inside and out of the car now. So if you do have passengers, they'll be able to exit the vehicle with not a problem. This is gonna be the uh, Zebra 5 rear axle. 327 open, specially designed for highway driving. Really good on your MPG. Super comfortable passenger side seat. And super comfortable driver side seat. Once again, this was a uh, provision department unit. She is in immaculate running condition and shape. She wasn't used, uh, she was driven, but not used for patrol. Perfect dash, no holes on it whatsoever. Hunk does work. Cruise control does work. Folks, I do have uh, some nips here at the uh, steering wheel. Let me clean this up here real quick. I'm assuming whoever was driving this car was probably suffering from anxiety every now and then, and they were just picking at it. Electric uh, retractable pedals right there. 
new Unity Spotlight bulbs, as I said earlier. All right, they are completely new. Let's go ahead and uh, fire her up here. Before I forget, I do have uh, two keys, one factory fob. Yes, it does work. Pressure lights off, 125,000 miles. Uh, I kind of reset the clock by accident, but as of now, I am responsible for 18 miles driven so far. That's not accurate because I did drive this car way more than that. 175 idle hour forks. 175 idle hours. That's something you don't see every day, let me tell you. Stereo does work. Red LED. Oh, the white doesn't work. Oh, there you go. White LED, red LED. White again. Map plates do work. Okay. We're gonna go to the trunk. Did I hit the horn already? Yes, I did. Okay, there you go. Sorry about that, folks. For my customers that do want to see the uh, video of the uh, headliner, there it is. That was a uh, new request by uh, two of my followers on YouTube. All right, folks, once again, uh, this is gonna be a 2010 Crown Victoria with 125,000 miles. Original white from factory, and yes, I did have the car repainted because there was paint peeling in about five, six different panels. This is the trunk. I do have a uh, brand new uh, spare tire, matching spare tire and wheel right here. Floor jack, trunk pack. Folks, these wires right here, I'm gonna leave these alone if you do buy the car and uh, you want to get the strobes and the wig wax to work this will be for the strobes the controller for the wig wax it's under the hood we'll get to that in a minute uh, i can get this up and running for you at an additional uh, cost so let me know i can leave it alone and you can do it or if you want me to do it i can go ahead and take care of it okay power supply is needed i got it on uh, negative and positive wires to the front and get everything working for you. The clock is ticking, so let me step it up a little bit more here. Before I forget, guys, this is crucial, very useful information, okay? Ballistic door panels inside the front doors in this particular car. They're heavy, so you can feel it right away when you open the door. Once again, ballistic door panels inside the front doors. New tires, wheels were uh, reconditioned, repainted. New headlamps, four baby. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, the vehicle was serviced. Um, we did all the services, it's been completely detailed as well. Starting right to left, we do have a brand new air filter. Throttle body was cleaned out. New spark plugs. All eight of them, Motocraft Platinum, 520 full synthetic oil change. Transmission was serviced. This is gonna be Mercon LV Motocraft fluid and filter. New battery, nice and cold AC. I do have the uh, blue factory OEM uh, fail safe radiator hoses. Water pump uh, appears to have been already replaced by the department. Dry belt tensioner, everything is good. And like I always do guys, I like to get under the uh, radiator cover here. I don't know if you guys can see that clearly, but no dust bunnies in here whatsoever. No dust bunnies. Nice and clean, guys. Look at that. Wow. Who else is going to take care of you like I do? I don't think there's uh, no one out there doing what I do to this extent. Let me clean this up here for you guys. Uh, once again, the vehicle is pre-wired to have the the strobes, the strobes are in place, okay? This is all the electrical components for the strobes and this is gonna be the wig wag uh, module. Everything is connected. 
all you have to do is just run uh, power to it and you are good to go. Brakes, about 80% all around from the department, so I went ahead and left us alone. I do have a uh, brand new fill filter and differential was checked out and it was nice and clean, so we left that alone. It was nice and clean and full, okay? Am I forgetting anything? I don't think I am. Okay. One last final look here, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, as the clock is ticking, once again, 2010 Fort Crown Victoria Police Interceptor, uh, probation department vehicle. Okay, she was not a patrol. She was driven, but not a patrol unit with 175 idle hours. That is it. Folks, this is the catch of the day right here. Once again, I have set you up for success. All right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, I got to go. This is the Crown Victoria guy signing off. You guys have yourself a blessed week ahead of you. And if you are interested in buying this vehicle, please do not hesitate to give me a call or text me. Thank you very much. God bless and take care.